synopsis. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel with your girl Kyra Sean. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did this very easy, very quick crochet style. But before we can do all the specs of the hair and how I did this, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I made this wig and then come back and talk about the details. So let's talk about this hair really quick. This hair was actually sent to me by samsbeauty.com. It is the authentic U-lock faux dreadlocks. I got them in the color 1B and she does retail for $4.99 per pack. Each pack does come with 20 strands of the locks and they did send me eight packs of hair. However, it only took me four and a half packs to do this. So four and a half packs at about $5. I basically spent like, what, $20, $25 to do my hair. I'm here for it, okay? Slayage on a budget. The hair does come in this loop method, which makes it a lot easier to crochet. You don't have to, you know, part the hair yourself. It's already pre-parted, pre-looped, so you just basically stick it through, loop it through the hole, and pull it down. I remember back in the day when crochet first came out, you had to like poke it through yourself and then loop it yourself and like tie it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They came with the pre-loop, so I don't gotta worry about all that good to go. Um, I would say total, it was about 45, 50 minutes for me to do the entire thing. Cause I'm gonna be lying and clickbaiting y'all. Like, oh, it took me 15 minutes. No, it didn't. This was my first time doing a crochet style on my hair, period. You could probably do this a lot faster if you are not new to the crochet crew, okay? As you guys saw, I did do it in a half wig style. The cap that I did use could be stretched to a full cap, but obviously I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to make it look a little bit more natural in the front, and I didn't do the corals in the front either. I wanted to do singles, so that's why I did the rubber band method. If you guys have a better way to do the rubber band method without having the rubber band show, let me know in the comment section down below because I could not get them hidden in any way. I've seen people like loop their hair down into the actual crochet I tried that I had issues so I'm just like you know what no <laughs> I'm just gonna wrap my hair around because my hair texture pretty much mimics the texture of the lock anyway. That's why I just use my Eagle Styler Gel and I lathered that bad boy up and I just twisted it into the lock. If I had my beeswax or like my lock and mousse, that would have been a lot better um, because it would hold it, like the stickiness would hold it a lot better. Um, but this is how it's looking from the side and then if I turn around to the back, that is how it is looking. This hair does come in, I believe, a 12 and a 14 inch. I got it in the 12 inch. The hair is very, very soft. It is synthetic, but it's not like scratchy. I think it came out really cute. I actually really like it. I'm surprised that I like this. I'm not normally someone who would uh, gravitate towards like this type of hair as far as like the dreadlock style. However, I have wondered what I would look like with dreads and um, <laughs> I look good. <laughs> Like, I, I look good, I feel good. I got the girls out today, so you know I'm feeling myself, okay? Um, but yeah, I think, <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. Give me a second. I could pull it all up into like a little pony situation, you know? Obviously, you know, you can hide the band. I could fold this band in. Like, I'm pretty sure I could, like, it does come with the clips on the side, but I could take those out if I wanted to and just fold the band in. Let me try that, let me try. I didn't even think about that. Look at that, I'm thinking on the fly. Thinking on the fly. So yeah, you can definitely fold that in. Look at that. <laughs> 
good job sis good job and again you can put as many as you want on the cap i didn't want a lot on the cap especially because it's a 12 inch if i was to put too many on this cap my neck will be hot even though this is a lightweight texture it's breathable the way it is right now too many though your neck gonna be sweating and what we doing go ahead and say it with me protect the neck now it does say on the side you probably would need six to eight packs to actually do this style however like i said i only use four and a half to be on the safe side i would definitely tell you guys to get the six packs especially if you're doing it the way that i did it depending on your head size you just want to make sure that you're you know better safe than sorry but yeah i can think this came out really cute this is what it's looking like up close again very simple to do you guys nothing crazy anyone can do this this is very very beginner friendly before anyone say like oh she pulling her edges i'm actually really not the gel is just kind of pulled up and it's not yanking at all so don't worry you guys my hair is safe okay my hair is safe cute my light went out oh I will link all information for this hair down below so you guys decide to check it out. Make sure you tell them that Kavashan sent you. Shout out once again to Sam's Beauty for sending me this hair. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Don't forget to smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.